Don't forget about the stars, the sky, the blue seed as the air that blows in the light that shines. Just a way to figure out the when the night is long. Take a little wonder outside through the rain. How's it going folks, this is Wayne Art, back with another lesson and today a heavily requested song, I've had loads of requests for this, it's a few years old now, obviously they've got a new album out, but Delete by the DMAs, uh, a band that have sort of passed me by, I caught them so, you know, supporting Liam Gallagher on his last tour and they are an amazing band, I just thought, you know, a guy, front man with a baseball cap on, you know, what, what a bit of a chancy. Well, there we go. We're, I have done a DMA's lesson before. Share, believe, if you want to check that out. And I think that's what led on to getting loads of requests for this song. And the more I listen to it, it is a real grower to me. Like I say, I was sort of new to this group. I hadn't really... I, I was aware of them, but I hadn't really listened to them before. And I think off the back of this great original song, I'm going to definitely go and check them out. So uh, so it's this is fairly easy to play it's played as they play it with a capo on the fourth fret i'm going to show you the little licks uh, other than that pretty straightforward with the uh, you know straightforward open chord so without further ado let's get to it okay so the song is in standard tuning but as i said in the intro and as you can see you're going to want the capo on the fourth fret okay and i'll show you this little intro first if you want to do that sort of around the chords it's quite cool if you can do it you don't have to it's pretty simple you could just you know play the chords but going to show you anyway okay so what we do we play the D string open and sort of do a down up down so we're playing that note three times and then we play a two relative to the capo on the G string a zero that's also on the G and then a two on the D string so put that together you get this and then we just go into strumming a G chord. Now it's up to you if you do the three fingered G. I prefer to do, you know, a G chord that I use quite a lot, which is the, you know, the four fingered G. Okay, then you go in the D chord. I think it's quite nice as you go into the D. I'm not sure if they do this, they do something similar, they'll do like. So what I'm doing there is a pull off the third fret relative to the capo on the top E string. It's like a triple pull off, you go in three, two, and then a zero. And then you go into, you know, strumming the, the D chord, so we get this. Okay, we go with a G, D, and then the last chord is a C chord. But I'm doing a C chord, as I think they play it as well with a, with a G bass in. So we take a regular C chord, you can do that if you want, you know, beginners can just stick with a normal C chord. But I think it's quite nice, sounds a little bit beefier if you can move your third finger to the third fret on the E string relative to the capo, put a little pinky underneath, third fret on the A string. Okay, so that will be the chord progression. So we get a G. A D. And a C with a G bass in. I'll go over the scummy pattern in a minute. 
forget about the stars, the sky. Let's see it as the ever flows in the light that shines. Just a way to figure out who. Okay, when we go into that C the last time, we stay on that C. This is what we call the chorus. Don't delete my baby. So we see, don't it feed her still? In the quiet Jeep, nothing. With the hands of grace. Don't delete my baby. Don't it feed her now. Back to the C. Don't delete my baby. When you always find, gonna shine like a diamond. Like you never did. Back to the G. of myself let it all out just let it all out to find the feeling let me go back into the Okay, so that is pretty much the meat and potatoes of the song. It's going to need, you know, the, the verse chords, which is the G, the D, and the C. And the chorus is just going from the C, still with the G bass, and if you can, going to the G chord. I think it, a few little embellishments you can do. I think it's quite nice in the chorus. You know, you get that. You know, maybe lifting the second finger off and the first finger. If we do a G, if we do the three finger G with the second, third, and little pinky on the third fret on the toppy, I think it's nice to, you know, add your first finger on doing a G sus4 chord. That would be first finger on the B string on the first fret relative to the capo. So we get this. Okay, now the strumming pattern, I tend to, I couldn't quite pick it up what they were doing because it looks like, like they do what I do, you sort of feel it and you sort of improvise as you go along. But I'll give you, you know, a bit of a guide pattern. So, so the, the old faithful down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, that would work quite well. So... Okay, uh, that would also work in the chorus, so we got... Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Hope you all dug that one. Uh, really enjoyed doing that one. So, uh, like I say, I hope you all dug it. Uh, if you have got any other requests, you know, not just for DMA songs, anything that's going to work 50s to modern day on a, an acoustic guitar. A lot of you know the drill now. You can just comment in the post below, or another way is you can send me a personal message if you want to through social media on these platforms. So, I'm Wayne R Guitar on Facebook, Twitter, and now also Instagram. Uh, I do always try and reply to messages, you just got to respect, I do get hundreds of requests but you know, this was a heavily requested song and you know, I do eventually get round to some of them but I do have to hemp it them a little bit, but don't let that put you off, please do keep the requests coming and uh, I'd appreciate it if you gave me all, you know, a follow on those platforms on social media anyway then you could find out if you're interested what I'm up to or what videos I'm about to post up, so there we go. Thanks for your continued support. Thanks everyone for subscribing. You know, I really appreciate it as always. 
really means a lot another way that you could help me out is click the little notification bell that's down there somewhere so every time I post a video up you're gonna get notified and another way is share my videos tell your friends you know word of mouth is a powerful thing so if you know anyone who's recently started playing a guitar maybe been playing a guitar for a number of years with like a little bit of inspiration with some great songs to play you know please point them in my direction I'd really appreciate that so that just leaves me to say have a great morning day night whenever it is you're watching and I'll catch you all for last one very soon take care